bit uncomfortable with all this. I have to say, look, you're all here. I'm just one man in this big thing trying to make 3,600 people laugh. I'm very uncomfortable with this. <laughs> no, just because there's a thin line between being genuinely entertaining and mental illness. <laughs> I've seen the tapes of my, I used to do Godzilla impressions, you know? What was that? Here's my impression of Godzilla having his toe stepped on. <laughs> that's not comedy, that's neurosis. <laughs> like, here's my impression of Godzilla having asked for Earl Grey tea but actually getting a coffee. <laughs> Comedy, that's because my father didn't love me. <laughs> I'll do one more. Here's Godzilla having voted Liberal Democrat but realizing how much influence Nick Clegg actually has. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love your smile. I've got two minutes, I'll get two minutes. But I like to sing, ladies and gentlemen, you know. I did, um, I played Fagin and Oliver, and, and some people know that it's very hard for an Iranian to keep a tune because, you know, I talked about this before, that Ira we had a tribute band to S Club 7 in Iran, and they could never keep the tune. <laughs> they, they, they said, come on guys, don't stop, never give up, hold your head high and reach the top, the creamiest milk, the lightest bar, the goodness that's in Milky Bar. So, we get confused mid-song. I'm playing Fagin, I'm going, you've got to pick a pocket or two. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? Papa, can you find me in the dark? If I were a rich man, all day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, Zibenya. So. 